so I'm gonna go ahead and break into a new segment on this channel called the miseducation of a negro negro right depending on how you pronounce it hi welcome to religion link tv where my spiritual ears stay guys listen on my video called uh network into 1k uh asking you shall receive someone you know gave me ideas of other content so i'm gonna go ahead and break into a new segment on this channel called the miseducation of a negro negro right depending on how you pronounce it and i did a video called jay wilson the uneducated negro and something else right i'll put the link below but before i do hit that subscription box because i think you're gonna enjoy the content that we're about to get into so with that being said shout out to tc white girl reed i'm gonna go ahead and do this promo for a live stream that will go down around 3 p.m eastern time today on this channel and we're gonna read some of the miseducations of a negro written by uh let's see mr carter goodwin woodson okay so with that being said i have my little print the prologue up i'm gonna go ahead and read what his theory is on the misconceptions of the negroids and hopefully we can get back to this kind of teaching and wisdom in our community so that we can overcome and be redeemed from the hand of the enemy right that's all scriptural it all goes together this is religion link tv and my spiritual ears stay i'm gonna see if i could read it from here if not i'll be like from the above neck beach <laughs> are we gonna do our best okay so the difficulty is that the educated negro negro is compelled to live and move among his own people whom he has been taught to despise as a rule therefore the educated negro prefers to buy his food from a white grocer because he has been taught that the negro is not clean and she also mentioned personal hygiene and i want to re remind our community the black community the tribe of negroes <laughs> that's out in this world right the ones who hitler said is, is not the descendants of shem i mean ham but of shame right um i want to convince you guys that cleanliness is next to godliness and we're going to talk about proper hygiene on this channel coming from a nursing perspective a godly perspective a pure heart perspective um definitely 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 because a lot of people are touching the unclean things still in this world and it has a lot to do with evil and wickedness so also it does not matter how often a negro washes his hands then he cannot soil them he cannot clean them excuse me and uh it does not matter how often a white man uses his hands he cannot soil them see the difference here it's your mindset people is what you believe it's true teachings out here in this world that need to be uh, brought fresh into your memory so that you can wake up and be woke and not sleep to the deception of the world and shout out again to tc white girl reed who brought this conversation to the forefront again it goes on to say the educated negro moreover is disinclined to take part in negro business because he has been taught in economics that negroes cannot operate in this particular sphere realm of living they want you to believe you can only be uncivil needing wanton in need of desperate the slave man's master mentality is this i'm gonna give you what you crave and get what i want at the same time so it goes on to say the educated negro gets less and less pleasure out of the negro church not on account of its primitive primitiveness 
and increase in corruption, but because of his preference for the seats of righteousness controlled by his oppressor. I told y'all, if you could not sit at the same restaurant tables and eat, if you cannot share the same bathroom in peace, if you cannot sleep in the same houses with them, how do you serve the same white Jesus? See, we all saying the same thing, but I guess I'm saying it differently in this day and age. Because I don't look like the uh, Carter Goodwin Wilsons. I don't look like the Harriet Tubmans. I don't look like the Malcolm X's. I don't look like the Martin Luther King. I don't sound like the Oprah's of the world or the Mona Simone's of the world. I don't sound like. I don't look like. But we're all saying the same thing. And yes, I get my little Negro voice on. Because I always be trying to in, <laughs> imitate Martin Luther King. <laughs> Five score years ago. <laughs> Enjoy this teaching today, y'all. Because this is Religion Link TV at her best. I'm sorry. This is my culture, my history. I'm black. And we're going to get into that first chapter. Me and this man, Mr. Goodwin, have a little discrepancy. Now, it ain't to play the devil's advocate, but it's to speak up on behalf of certain people that still exist in this world. That the other people, the oppressor, would make you forget they don't exist. And they also made some black people think that we don't exist. So when we get into chapter one on the, on the read this afternoon we'll do you know read a paragraph we'll talk about it you know what i'm saying kind of thing but let's go ahead and finish getting through his prologue right it also goes on to say uh i like the you know the, the preference for the seats of righteousness controlled by his oppressor see it was the oppressor the white european caucasian man that gave you the bible over 250 some odd years ago you just well no 150 some odd years ago they had it 430 years ago, but you didn't get it until 100 and some odd 50 years ago. So they had enough time to do, distort, take, lie, deceive, whatever they want. Give it to the early preachers on the plantation and say, preach money. And that's what we have in the church, right? But anyway, and you fight for righteousness. Instead of being the righteousness of God, you want to be the righteousness in the eyes of the oppressor. Who got you out here fighting for civil rights. And it's the same white Jesus. That caused them and allowed them to put you in slavery. Our ancestors. We are the descendants thereof. Right. So it also goes on to say y'all. Let me get into this now. This has been his education. And nothing else can be expected of him. Whoa. The things you were conditioned and taught throughout your life, passed down generation after generation, is why we are the way we are today. Who taught it to us? Where'd we learn it from? And who would teach us such a thing to put all this history in the history books except for your truth? So it goes on to say, if the educated Negro could go off and be white, he might be happy. But only a mulatto now and then now and then can do this. I told you I have a niece born of a black sister, white father. She's white. Her skin color. Her behavior is black in between. But when she wants something from the government, from people, she wants people to feel sorry for her sometimes. She just picked, she just turned 40. Well, you know she can get away and play the white card real good. And that's how they are wiping off the face of the black person when they do their senses and everything. They're looking at people with a white skin knowing they have an ounce of black in them and still checking off white, white, white. People are choosing to check white, white, white. So it looks like on paper we don't exist. But again, it's what you believe and how hard you will go to educate your people to make them believe that we are the people. Alright, so it goes on to say, um, the large majority of this class then must go through life denouncing white people because they are trying to run away from the blacks and de decrying, 
the blacks because they are not white. And D E C R Y I N G, decrying the blacks because they are not white. And I and I have you. taught you all inside of the morning reads, right? Shout out to the morning reads. This is Religion Wink TV and my spiritual ears. Stay. Hey, the morning read, right? We've been reading the Word of God aloud, March second. We're on episode 50 tomorrow morning. We completed 49 this morning. Guys, shout out to the morning read and the episodes. We be going through it in the morning. Anywhere from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Sometimes East Coast time. It may push out to 11. If I do a premiere and can't get it to render and upload to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We have been known to do the morning read in the afternoon on this channel. Okay. So with all that being said, guys, yes, I just plugged myself and plugged one of my uh, uh, programs that I offer on this network called Religion Link TV, right? You get variety over here, but it's all godly and it's all, you know, leading people to the most high God and to pure enlightenment and, and, a, and a joyful heart and a better way of living, right? So anyway, let me go ahead and close out of this right here. I want to get us back to um, the book over here. Tell you how many chapters are actually. I think it's 18 chapters. It's about 66 pages. So we'll do one to two chapters alive. We don't want to go over, you know, two hours with it. Maybe an hour worth of reading and comments and then calling, right? Make it a two hour live stream. And then. We'll go in so, so, every um, Saturday. We'll meet here on this blessed Shabbat on the holiest day of the week, the year, whatever. Well, that would be the resurrection, right? It's the holiest day of the the world. Why? That's why you're Easter, bro. And it's in March and sometimes February and sometimes May. Because they don't want you to know the true day the black Messiah rose. So, again, I was correct. Um, X v one two three is chapter 18 and that will be the study of the negro we'll start off on chapter one the seed of the trouble um i don't know if i read the preface or if i read the foreword but whichever i didn't read just then i'll go ahead and read now i'm gonna check it out and see what i come up with all right, so that is the foreword. Let's check out the preface before we go. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you all. Um, it's the same thing. Preface, pre foreword is on the same. Anyway, some of the chapters we'll be getting into. Let me go just go ahead and do this real quick. We'll be getting into the seed of trouble, chapter one, chapter two. How we missed the mark. And we talked about that today in the networking. There's a Bible verse that says you have not because you ask not. And when you ask, you ask a miss. We always hear Christians miss the mark. This is going to be a good chapter. We get into chapter 3. How we drifted away from the truth. And we are still away from the truth, people. Chapter 4. Um, let's go ahead and see. Is the education under outside control. Um, chapter Five, the failure to learn to make a living. Chapter six, the educated Negro leaves the masses. Chapter seven, dis dissension and weakness. And I still tell y'all, it's not the Kanye West damn syndrome that got black people thinking we still in slavery. It's your weakness to believe that you can come from under the control of another race. So, we have chapter 8, Professional Education Discouragement. Then we have uh, chapter 9, Political Education Neglected. Then we have chapter 10, The Loss of Vision. Your perception, your reality with God is gone. That's a lost soul. The need for service rather than leadership is chapter 11. The need for service. The need for acceptance. You don't want to lead anymore. You rather go along to get along. Just to belong people. And then we have chapter 12. Hirelings in the places of public servants. 
And I say wickedness, wickedness is seated in high places. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but them demons that want to rule, reign, and worship the world. And the ruling is the American government with the power, the militia. The reigning is the queen. And the worship is the Pope with all the control of the religion he has of the world. Hence, that's why my name is Religion Wing TV. And my spiritual ears stay to all of this right here, okay? So, I need about 200 and... 30 of y'all to have a cushion to come join my channel today hit that subscription box because we're gonna get it on and popping off of this channel before i move over to channel i would like to grow this channel to know that it's not in vain to know that there's people out there that think like-minded as me even though we may serve different gods and faiths but when it comes to the race the conditions of people in the world there's an oppressor there's someone trying to keep a yoke on your neck and brass on your head to keep you enslaved to do what they want you to do and not what God called you to do. So we'll go on to verse uh, chapter 13. Understand the Negro or the Negro or the tribe of Niger. Remember the Bible says you be a byword and you were from a tribe called Niger. Now they call you nigger. You old nigger. I'm telling people. So then we got the new program. And you know there's a new black agenda on the rise, people. You just got to assume that you're black. Assume the position of being black. You don't need another march, another uh, 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 conference, another Black Lives Matter group, another Stay Woke campaign. All you need to do is be the people God called you to be. Who are those people? And in chapter one, you're going to see that um, Mr. Carter Goodwin and uh, Carter Goodwin Wilson and myself dis disagree on one word in that first chapter. And go, go along and see if you can figure out what that one word is. And I'll be back at 3 p.m. East Coast time and share that with you. But everything else, we're on the same accord. Because I know this enemy deceived even black people. And black people have a problem being who God called them to be. So we leave a little small sect of black people out in this world. And we forget about them. Verse 14 we said the new program verse 15 vocational guidance what about spiritual guidance people bet to your creator <laughs> what about verse 15 oh excuse me 15 is vocational guidance 16 is the new type of professional man required remember i'm gonna keep it spiritual off with the old creature on with the new you cannot put new spirits in old spirits you cannot put new wine in old wine skins you can put not put the body in old a new body in old clothes you know what i'm saying you have to take be done with the old cream all right then we got um verse chapter 17 higher strivings in the service of the uh-oh country and i told you america is not for god's people america america what can it be the home of the brave and the land of the free america america what can it be that have me <laughs> that have me <laughs> in captivity you know that have me enslaved living in captivity it goes america what can it be the home of the brave and the land of the free america what can it be that had me living in fear in captivity i wrote that when trump became president because i knew the whole damn world was going to need some kind of salvation and hope and, and just comfort throughout his reign right but you guys don't listen to me okay Anyway, I told you, listen to every song about America. Bombs bursting in there and all this Yankee doodle went to town to kill a uh, ind indigenous aboriginal, one of the 12 tribes of Israel who made it to America before Columbus did through the Barren Straits, right? And it said Yankee doodle went to town and came on the horses and attacked the tribe of Gad. <laughs> 
stuck a feather from the American turkey that they was grazing on with the corn and all that. And called the Yankee Doodle. Ooh, baby. You better subscribe today. I'm on a hustle, y'all. I'm on a hustle to grow my channel. I'm going to bring controversy because people don't like the way I talk. People don't like me. People don't like to come out my mouth. It's okay. Christ came to bring a variance as well. <laughs> Wars and rumors of wars, nations against nations, mothers against daughters, fathers against sons. And it also says mother-in-laws against daughter-in-laws. Consider yourself blessed if you find yourself in the word of God, alright? Not everybody can see themselves in the word of God, okay? So with that being said, chapter 18, study the Negroid. <laughs> the Negro, study us, study you. Claim your negro ship. They won't call you black. And like I said, and I'm going to end it right here. Why every other race is not called Puerto Rican American, German American, French American, uh, 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 Ashkenazi Jew American, but us African Americans miss me with that, all right? This has been Religion Link TV. My spiritual ears stay. Thank you for the premiere guys cash at me i'm gonna put the links below paypal me i'm gonna put the link below hit up my channel share my channel's link subscribe to this channel and i'll be back 3 p.m east coast time to read you one to two chapters of the miseducation of the negro by carter good goodwin woodson i got it 18 chapters of the read these lights are making me hot and i am going to end it here thank you so much i'll see you in about uh, uh two and a half hours oh yeah two and a half hours god bless thank you shalom this is religion wing tv and my spiritual ears stay Thank you, TC White Girl Read. It's on and popping from here, sis. I am going to grow my channel organically with the education of our black people like I've been doing spiritually. Now I'm going to tie the blackness into it and show you how we don't have to ask for reparation or repatriation. But just stand up and claim who we are as a people and it'll just start to come to us. And if that don't happen, watch the enemy go out his way to kill, steal, and destroy and put your ass back in slavery so you don't have dominion of this world again. They will fight you till the days of Jesus come because they don't want you to reign. And I ask you, is he coming back? Is it false hope? Is they telling you to wait on this white European man that wouldn't allow you to use the same bathroom, same restaurants you couldn't eat at, you couldn't shower, you couldn't sleep? You couldn't eat the same foods. You had to eat the pig intestines and all this other stuff. That that Jesus is coming back to save your black ass. Alright. Uh, is that just one of their wives fables and tales they put out in the world? You know the black sheep will always put out, you know, disguise, uh, discover their little white lies, right? And that black sheep is the Messiah. Is that one of the lies they put out to you? So that you won't fight. You'll just be like, oh, well, wait on Jesus. Jesus gonna do it. Do Jesus. But God, <laughs> turn the other cheek. <laughs> when they sue you for your coat, give them your cloak too. Colossians 23, servants, obey your masters in the flesh. In the single eyedness without fearing God. It says something to that effect. What? With that being said. No, I'm done, y'all. This is your girl, Religion Link TV. <laughs> and my spiritual ears stay. But you should be glad because a lot of people's spirits are dead in this world. They won't allow the word of God to be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their pathways. They don't want to be led by the Holy Spirit because they're afraid that the Spirit of God is going to lead them into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil like it did Christ in chapter 4. But remember, man can't eat 
and live by bread alone, but by every word out the mouth of God. Man shall not tempt God, and man shall not serve no other God but the one who created him. And what you Christians out here doing? Serving all these content creators, worshiping man, worshiping all these names that's not above every name that every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow at. No, you're not. Guys, see, this is Religion Week. You vex the Holy Spirit. I can't sometimes. And on camera, I look a fool because I can't stop. Put me in a bubble. Treat me with respect. And I'll respect you. But you'll never have me like Moses, who made it to the promised land but couldn't cross over. Because he didn't sanctify God in the midst of the people. I'm doing my best to sanctify the Most High God. And I encourage you, exhort you, edify you in the admonition of the Thank you for Lord tuning in to, to Religion Wing TV where my spiritual ears stay. Shalom. Shalom. Enjoy your Saturday.